Big Bad Bunny. Look who's coming to play. Written by Melanie Joyce. Illustrated by Maurizio Robino. Beyond the wild flower meadow in Cherry Blossom Wood, the animals lived quietly in their leafy neighborhood. Life was simply perfect and things were always the same until one day a stranger arrived. Big Bunny was his name. Big Bunny came bouncing by. I am moving in here, he said. He dug an enormous burrow and flicked soil overhead. What are you all staring at? Boom! Big Bunny looking around. He thumbed his back foot crossly and dived down underground. Maybe he's just shy, said Owl. It's not easy when you are new. Make Big Bunny welcome and he'll soon make friends with you. So the field mice invited him to come for tea at four. They heard him bouncing down the path and thumb on their front door. Big Bunny had terrible manners. He gobbled up all the food. He jumped on the cake and slurped the cream. He was really very rude. Come swimming with us, said the otters. You think it's really cool. All right, said Big Bunny. Giggling but then he farted in the pool. When the baby badgers were napping, Big Bunny shouted, Woo! You naughty bunny! They squilled. We have had enough of you. The animals of Cherry Blossom Wood were cross and a little bit sad. We have tried our best, they said to Owl, but that Big Bunny is just so bad. Owl said and thought for a while. I have got a plan, he said. We won't be mean to Bunny. We'll do something nice instead. Owl whispered to the animals and everyone seemed delighted. They began to run all over the wood and were terribly excited. The squirrels gathered nerds and the mice found lovely treats. The badgers blew up balloons and the otters made some sweets. In their den, the little foxes all began to bake. There's no time to lose. They said, there are lots of things to make. The smells in cherry blossom wood were sugary and delicious. Big Bunny got a whiff and soon became suspicious. Something's up, he thought. I definitely smell a red. They are having fun without me. I'll put an end to that. He bounded into the clearing and hopped with one great leap. Aha! He cried, bouncing off the jelly and landing in a heap. Big Bunny felt a bit silly as everyone stood and stared. This is all for you, said Owl. We wanted to show you we cared. I'm sorry, said Big Bunny. He suddenly felt so sad. Cheer up, cried the other animals. You are really not that bad. Let's get the party started, cried Owl. We'll make Big Bunny welcome here. Yes, please, cried Big Bunny, bouncing as everyone gave a cheer. Big Bunny was never bad after that because he had lots of friends. Cherry Blossom Wood was perfect again and that is how the story ends. Please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates.